Hello, podcast world. It is September 28, 2020. That's 9 28, 2020. It's 8 52 a.m. And I'm definitely here for you to talk about what's going on in the world. And today I'm going to talk about uh, it's another podcast about Trump or die. You know, it seems like if you haven't been paying attention, that's what's going to happen. Uh, somehow, magically, they're going to cure the coronavirus and he's going to win the 2020 election. Um, it doesn't really seem like any of the Joe Biden advertisements or campaigning is really getting any traction. The Democratic Party may have, uh, you know, they may have sink their own ship. It might be that they started a little too late to with their candidate. And the next thing is, the world just hates women. No one out there culturally likes a vagina to be in power so that is all i gotta say you know just think about it even in a lot of religious beliefs or whatever they don't believe that women should be in authority and since he has a woman as his co-runner as his vice president as his vp that is part of uh, an issue for some people so and you've seen how it went for Hillary they trashed her in every form and and way they could for Trump so at this point right now you have to look at it from the standpoint or Trump or die and that's what's going to end up happening the Republican Party has always got tricks up their sleeve I've seen some of the campaigning done on the Trump we have for the Trump or for the for the uh, Republican Party and it just blows my mind it's really just unbelievable. Like, I say to myself, vote young. Vote for the youngest candidate. And that's never to Republican. Republicans usually pick the oldest part they can find and, you know, stick them out there and, and parade them around and be like, oh, make America great again and, you know, bring back... Uh, low-key slavery and things like that and bring back the they want things to be like 1955 that's what they want and for some reason that's a very um pivotal year that even back to the future kept going back to it for some reason so when they say make uh, make america great again they're really talking about the year 1955 the 1950s uh where there was a just enough freedom, you know, just enough freedom, just enough uh, on for for black uh, for the black community and for the uh, female community, and they felt like well, that's all and fine and dandy if uh, if that's what you if you want freedom, that's about as much freedom as you're gonna get. We're just gonna tie you to uh, a tree and let you run around in circles and feel like you got a little freedom. But the actuality of the situation is you're not free then and you're not free now. The Republican Party is still the stronghold. So I don't have a clue as to why it seems like disasters take place when they're in power but be prepared for at least another four more years of bad weather. If there was such thing as a political groundhog, the Paxitoni field would predict that uh, it would be Trump with the win. I mean, it seems like the more you hate on someone or hate them, or whatever it case it is, if they have charisma, that's who's going to win the election. I've never seen such craziness come out of a president's uh, mouth or all the stuff that he's done since he's been in office. I've never seen such a thing. It is crazy. And I mean, the thing is, Trump is rich. 
Rich people like rich people. And even poor people like rich people because they want to be like the rich. They want to be rich and famous. So I remember um, whatever uh, I was watching, I think it was on CNN, guy was talking, and he was like, before he ran for president, people were always referencing, oh, something, something. Uh, like Trump, like Trump in their in their in their lyrics, you know. So it's just subconscious. Like you subconsciously, you, you it's a love hate relationship. Like you hate him because he's not the right guy for the job, but you just don't have a choice at the end of the day. Like what else you gonna do? I mean, Democrats don't really vote, <laughs> so. What are we going to do? I feel like the 2008 election, it was hands down that Obama was going to win that year. Right? If he would have lost, and I'll probably say this in either election, but especially in the 2008 when he him first coming into office, if he would have lost, oh man, it would have probably sparked World War Three. Um, if Let's say Michelle was to run. She could be a woman that has enough standard and who is so far scandalous enough. You know, because I even, even, let me say, you have to be pretty flawless to, uh, to run for president, especially as a woman. I don't get it. So, all I can say is, you know, just be careful because you never know what you're going to get. But you do know that Trump's going to win, right? I'm just telling you. It's not a, it's not America's proudest moment. And it's one thing that I would probably bet the form on. And I hate that to be the case, you know? But I just know. Uh, like someone said the other day, they they didn't manufacture this uh, coronavirus, COVID nineteen, whatever you want to call it. They didn't manufacture this and kill hundreds of thousands of people to, in the long run, lose the election. No, 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 no. Like I said, that's not what's going to happen here. Like, people have died for this. So, it's gotten kind of out of hand, probably. But, magically, here it is. The election is in, in, in like, arm's length. And now it's like, oh, you don't really have to wear a mask anymore. Things are getting better. Uh, we're this close to having a cure. Trump himself said, by a special date in November, wink, wink there will be a cure. So, now it's kind of like they're on a holdout on this whole uh, new stimulus package. So, what are we going to do? It's going to affect the way that people vote. Uh, I say it all the time. I am a straight ticket Democratic voter. I vote straight Democrat. I don't really care who's on the ballot. I'm not reading that thing. I'm going to the thing and clicking boop, straight Democrat. And it's going to light up on the left, right side, whatever, whatever, you know. And it's going to mark straight Democrat. And I'm going to be pretty much done. Two seconds, you know. And the first thing I do know about that, about the straight Democrat, is it's going to it's gonna be a vote against Trump. It's going to be a vote against all the other Republicans out there. And my little vote probably won't count for anything, but at least I voted. At least I'm going to vote. So I've never not voted in, especially in a presidential campaign. So, or election. Now, at this time, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to 
like comment subscribe hit the notification bell tune into my youtube channel check out everything i've got going on down below in my um description and hopefully you know feel free to um subscribe and donate and just you know keep listening i appreciate y'all and like i say maybe maybe this will help and you get out there and vote against Donald Trump. Uh, peace. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video.